That was my guy when I was a kid. Okay, so no, no, what I want. I want. I want something good to happen, right? I feel like in my life, without being this negative asshole, in the past month and a half, as hard as I've tried to be a positive influence and remain positive and have a, like a good mindset and fucking just get after shit, I feel like I've been sitting in a bowl of just shit soup, you know, just, just shitty things. Just dealing with just shitty things and shitty people. I'm ready for something good to happen. Like I'm ready for a different story. I'm ready for a different narrative. You know, I feel, I feel like yeah, shit soup. That's what I feel like. Just sitting in the fucking bowl. It's just shit stew, and it's just stinking up every part of it, every part of my life, and I don't like it. And I'm gonna fight my ass off to fucking fix it. Nobody wants to sit in a bowl of dick soup. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Not about the soup, but more just I'm ready for something good to happen. I need it. I need to see something good in the world, in my life, something positive. I've I've just been bombarded with just images of just shit. I'm ready to see something. Which is why like for me YouTube is an escape, right? For me, the gym is an escape. For me, like the videos that I listen to, like a lot of Eric Thomas and Les Brown and anybody with this is just doing stuff. I, I'll listen to anything, but you know, which is why stuff like that, that's my escape. My music is my escape from just shit, you know? That's why I value that that alone time I have sometimes. I, I value it so much. Because it's my escape from just bullshit. And I wish I could share a, a bit more, but I don't know how to share it without really, really, really just being just negative asshole. So I'm not gonna. So yeah, anyway. Doll hair tree. Everything's a doll hair. hungry. I also like this guy. The uh, the chocolate ones are my favorite because they're softer. And I'm not I'm not a fan of hard cookies. Like, I don't really I don't like hard cookies at all. Like, why would you ever 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 eat a fucking hard fresh baked cookie? It's fucking stupid. I don't want a fucking crunchy cookie. Which is why chips are always a bunch of bullshit. In the soft one. I have to eat them. I'm saying that. I'm saying that. It's like this. It's miserable. It's a fucking crunchy cookie. I must eat a crunchy cookie. Fuck that. I'm supposed to be talking to the camera. Are you? I haven't said much yet. We got three, three, eighty-five on the bar. Uh, we got doubles. Trying to build, build that base back up, yo. Relearn the movement. Get my squat fitness back, quote unquote. Squat fitness from the last video being, uh, just confidence under the bar. That's that's really good. Just confidence. Anyhow. One to four sets of doubles. Not gonna lie though, 315 felt oh, interesting. Maybe it's because I actually trained my glutes yesterday. Which, by the way, gentlemen, 
who are, you know, that are watching this, you uh, should definitely give thought to training your glutes more often than not. One, girls like that ass too. And two, it will help your squat, and your deadlift, and your bench to some extent. So yeah, train that ass. Strength everywhere. I was just like So that's it. Um, I should have. Taking a better setup. My setup is shitty. 
walk out with shitty, it felt just different. So, we'll fix that next time. One more set. I got some What's up, guys? Okay, so last set, 385 for two. This is set three. I, I could do four or five more, or well, three or four more sets. Um, but I'm not going to. One, because it's the first week, and as I said before, you need a place to go. You don't want to start off really, really high, and then you, where do you go from there? If I started off with 12 sets of two, where do I go from there? 14 sets of two? Anyhow. And, uh, things I'm telling myself sometimes, um, sometimes it's just do your job before, before I go into the bar. Sometimes it's, uh, I'll just focus on specific cues, like very tight upper back or sit into the squat or strong brace you know just little cues helps reinforce like what I'm you know what I know yeah. Yeah. I feel like I should start doing like uh with some bicep work, some tricep work I feel like because once I switched over to more strength based weight training I literally just stopped training my arms because when it was more hypertrophy focused I was always always had an arm day chest day, back day, leg day. I never tried the push-pull leg split. Never really got behind that one. Yeah, I always had a chest day, arm day, leg day, back day. Basically, it was a version of the power hypertrophy split. And I was a high bar squatter then. Really, really sloppy. Anyway, uh, so let's sit down for a second. Cut, still gotta use the restroom.